Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Tekken 4 for the PS2. I'm Samurai TX, and when we last left off, we were king. And we um, connected the stories of him and Craig Marduk. And now I got somebody else to be. But for now, let's check who we unlocked. We unlocked Violet, and he looks awfully familiar with that hairstyle. You're not fooling anybody with that purple hair. But anyway, we are going to be Paul. You've kicked my ass in the past two videos, now it's time to be you! Paul went undefeated through the entire King of Iron Fist Tournament 3, and even triumphed over Ogre. Swelling with pride, Paul returned home. However, unknown to Paul, Ogre morphed into his second form, True Ogre, and the tournament continued after his departure. And the victor eventually became Jin! Who did defeat True Ogre? Although Paul claimed that he was the true champion of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 3, few believed him. And even those who did eventually grew tired of his attitude. Nobody likes a bragger, I suppose, especially when they constantly do it. Damn, that's a fool from grace. He even has a bird on his head. Burning with desire to win this tournament, Paul decided to put his reputation on the line and prove once and for all that he was the one true champion. He proclaimed, this time, I'll be the undisputed champion. Well, let's hope you back up that claim. But our first stage battle is Kazuya Mishima, the returning Kazuya Mishima. Bring it on. So I decided to be Paul after he kicked my ass in the past two videos. Of course, Paul has some of the most powerful punches. Now let's see his updated movesets. Well, pretty much most of it's the same, actually. I don't think he shows off much updated movesets until Tekken 6. I mean, he does get more moves in his arsenal in this game, but um, he adds more to it, I believe, around um, Tekken 6 time. Right, Kazuya, round 2. Fight! Alright, let's dance, boy. Ow, that wasn't nice. Right, there we go. Just get everything out. We're not going to hit that move anytime soon, unfortunately. That's okay, we don't really need to hit that move. Because we have more powerful punching moves. And we could just pull on your arm and break it. Right, who's next? Is it you? Of course it is. Well, you're dead now. So, who's going to be stage two? Paul, tell Kazuya what you need to say. No pain, no gain. Stage two is Violet. Hello, Mr. Familiar Violet Man. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, it's so stupid. And can you see his stance? It's so familiar. You know why it's familiar? Because it is. You know who it is, guys? If you guys said Lee Chowlan, you'd be right. He has the same moves, because it's the very same guy. Again, Lee was absent in the previous tournament. And we will um, reveal why he was suspended. Well, why well, he was not suspended, but um, why he chose not to appear in the third tournament. So we will go to his story eventually. But for now, here's your welcome back to Perfect. Jesus Christ, Lee. That's terrible. But yeah, welcome back to Tekken 4. Just had to give you a very nice welcome. Oos! Stage 3 is Steve. Please don't beat me, Steve. Please don't. But I'm ready for you. I'm Paul Phoenix. What's the worst that could happen if we're Paul Phoenix and we're taking on Steve? Oh, God. He's probably going to beat my ass. Uh, ouch. He's probably going to beat my ass now that I said what's the worst that could happen. Like, I'm trying to um, advertise for Dr. Pepper. I mean, that is what Dr. Pepper's um, commercial line is. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, I th yeah, it is Dr. Pepper. I had, to, I had to rethink that. 
I mean, I haven't seen a Dr. P Pepper. I was about to say Dr. Proper. Who's Dr. Proper? I didn't know that was a drink. But, um, I haven't watched any sort of Dr. Pepper commercial in some time. But yeah, let's keep going. Are you going to try and thwart my plan, Steve? You know how bad that will be? It will be very bad. Why? Because I would have to kill you. But yes, take that. Oh, he, he dodged. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to do everything necessary to just use, well, original moves. Like this. And more punches. And more punches. And that's not going to work again. But I'll tell you what's going to work. Throwing you to the ground and winning by two games to love. Come here, boy. Okay, that's pretty patronizing, Paul. Stage four is Jin Kazama, the previous tournament's winner. Yes. When Paul Phoenix went away, Jin Kazama was the one that finished the job and beat True Olga. Before Heihachi's subsequent betrayal to Jin Kazama, after beating True Olga, um, Jin did, um, True Olga did disappear and got defeated. Heihachi um, was in the temple with Jin. And if you saw the, um, Jin's ending in the third game... Ouch, that wasn't nice, Jin. Just as I was starting to explain your story, you just beat me. You rude piece of garbage. Right, I'm still going to continue anyway, but yeah. Heihachi enters the temple, and of course, he surprises Jin by shooting him. Yep. He shot Jin. And he thought he killed Jin when he shot him. But much to Heihachi's shock, Jin was Devil Jin. And, um, well, Jin left him to live, because Jin could have just threw him out of the um, temple, which he did, but he couldn't, instead of pulling him down, he could have just, well, flew away and made him die. But Jin did not do that. Jin has a heart, so he let Heihachi live. So yes, Jin let Heihachi live the first time, which is Iron Fist Tournament 3. And in this game, as you can see, Jin has different moves. And um, he doesn't have the Mishima Ryu fighting style, this is um, the traditional art of karate. Um, Jin practically unlearned the Mishima Ryu fighting style, which you can tell. Honestly, I wish he um, kept some of the um, previous moveset and then just added karate to it. I think a lot of people would have loved that, and I would have too, actually. But I'm not going to go too much into depth with Jin until um, I only the whole um, him being betrayed by Heihachi thing. That's the only thing I'm going to go by, But um, and telling you that he's learnt karate. But um, we will learn about Jin's story when we get to Jin himself. Because obviously in this game, Jin is the protagonist. I mean, he's always the pro. He's always the pro. He's the prota I won't say he's always been the protagonist. That's lies. But he's the protagonist now. In the, um, I'm talking now because I'm in Tekken Four. So, yeah, he's he's become the protagonist. He's the good guy. Obviously, um, Heihachi is the evil guy. Of course he is. And Kazuya, well, hey, he did some evil things too, and he's pretty evil. So Jin, you're practically going to feud with your family. And I'm not talking about appearing on the Game Show Family Feud, because I'm pretty sure um, if Steve Harvey had Keihachi, Kazuya, and Jin in the same studio, that studio would be destroyed, or someone would die in it. And I'm talking about probably the spectators, the audience. I'm just saying if it was a real thing, which is not, or if um, they did a Family Feud Tekken Edition video game. Don't get any ideas, Namco, because my idea here is pretty terrible. Horanky, please. No. No Horang. No Horang! But yeah, um... Yeah, don't do a Family Feud Tekken Edition. That'd be terrible. Just don't do it. But yes, um... I'm pretty sure the Mishimas will need some eventual therapy. Or... Just... Do it the old-fashioned way. Duke it out. Which they are. And Horang is down, and we are going to go to Stage 6. Nothing like a good work. It's true, though. He's, he's got a point. Hi, Christy. I mean, I think you've been in every video so far. I'm not going easy on you. I've been getting my ass kicked by Steve, Paul, 
And um, I did give you a chance to hit me, but you chose not to take it. So that's honourable. At least you had some honour to let me um, start moving. So yes, Steve and Paul are the two that's beaten me. Oh, and Craig Marduk himself, actually, in the previous video, but... It is what it is. Can we make an ultimate comeback? Let's see. We have little health, and Christy had quite a bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was pretty weird. Are we going to take this round? Are we? Are we? No. Oh. 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 How dare you beat me, Christy. Love this music, man. I really do love this music. Yeah. Ugh. Alright, Christy, you gonna do anything? Oh, you didn't even let me do my special punch. That's okay. I'll just do it on the next stage. Probably I will do it at stage 7. Or I'll do it somewhere else. But Christy is down. And we are ready to do the final round. So get up, Christy. We got a fight to finish. Let's go. Let's dance. Ugh. Right. Three. Ugh. Oh, she hit the wall. Right, are we going to get perfect? Are we? Are we? Probably not. Oh, we are! Here we go! <sighs> perfect. Uh, oops, sorry, Christy. I'm very sorry. Paul, that is patronizing. Stage 7 is... Kuma! I guess that's going to be our next up... Um, upload. <laughs> not upload, but um, our next character. Because, um, obviously... Um, we haven't got him yet. Now we're Paul. It looks like Kuma... Oh, jeez. Kuma will be um, next. And um, if we're going to be Kuma next, we're also going to do Panda after that too. Right, well, am I ever going to hit this move, this special punch? We shall find out in the next episode of Tekken. Booyah! <laughs> Have some of that. How do you like it now? Mmm. Come on, let's dance, Kuma. You stupid bear. Haha. <laughs> uh. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there we go. No, Kuma. Right. If I if I was able to hit my punch again, I'll I'll just I'll just celebrate, but I know I won't be able to hit it again. But maybe we can try. Or not. Just keep bashing Kuma's brains in. And just beat him up. Yeah, look at that. Then trip you up and do no ya. No pain, no gain. Get your old crusty ass out here, Heihachi. Get it out here. Let's dance. Come on. We'll give you your entrance. Because I know you want your entrance. So, yes. You can have your entrance, sir. Alright. Let's dance. Round one. Fight. Right. Don't expect amazing things with Paul. Well, I have done a few amazing juggles here and there, and that was against um, Violet. Well, Lee. Violet, Lee, does it really matter? Either way. Man, Violet got his ass beat. He got perfected not once, but twice. This old fool. Well, I'm going to beat him up too. Poor Heihachi. I'm joking. I don't feel sorry for him. Head into the retirement home, Heihachi. If, unless Kazuya just wants to flat out kill you, then, hey, fight for your life. As if, ouch. Ouch. Poor, I mean Paul. I was about to say Paul. Hey, ow! What the hell, Heihachi, man? You piece of crap. Hey! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Excuse me. I said stop it. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and that's how you end the fight. No pain, no gain. Time to read the ending. Paul became the undisputed champion of the tournament and assumed absolute power over Mishima Zaibatsu. So he's no longer looking like a homeless hobo. 
Though Paul inherited Mishima Zaibatsu's vast fortune, he let others handle the day-to-day -day affairs of the company. Eventually, his executive position became nothing but a job title. In the end, Abel's total control over him resulted in a life of depravity for Paul. Why did Paul even agree to work with such a dirtbag? Paul spent his days and nights partying. No trace of his valiant spirit remained. Oh, so he just basically gave up fighting, is that what you're telling me? Alright, let's take a cab. That's actually a pretty unique voice for Paul. I do like that voice. Hey, those were some nice glasses, you jerk. You could have got new sunglasses. That looked pretty cool on you. But that was nice to see that Law actually um, paid homage to him in, 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 by having a poster of him. Because him and Paul are friends. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll be playing more Tekken. So yeah, this was an impromptu upload actually, because Mondays is no more heroes. But, you know, um, I have to render it. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time.